Hi, I'm Dexter Griff from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. And I'm Dick Simmons from the same show. Today we're going to talk to you about an important topic, how to properly wash and dry your clothes. Normally I wouldn't care for any of this. But, sometimes the only way to tell us apart is by sheer color alone. Keeping your clothes vibrant and clean is a great way to establish your individualism, especially if you and all your friends have identical bodies. It's almost as if some higher power forced us all to be the exact same height and shape. But that's crazy, right? Looking mighty vermilion there today, Simmons. Thank you, sir, but technically, I'm brick. This is a perfect example of needing color correction. If you were even just slightly colorblind, you wouldn't be able to tell these two apart. What up, Simmons? <gasps> How dare! Uh, sister, I'm over here. Hey, Lopez. No quiero ser parte de esto. It's important to make sure you use the right cleaning solutions for your clothing. Different stains, dirt, and grime require different treatments. It's also completely okay to just throw your stuff in the washer with a bit of soap. Just make sure to use the right amount, otherwise you'll end up flooding your entire laundry room. We lost Caboose for three days. Neat. I have cleaned everything. Be sure to separate your clothing before washing. Different types of clothes require different methods of cleaning. You definitely don't want to do something stupid, like using bleach on your colored clothes. Oh no! I have used bleach on my colored clothes! Donut? No, Griff, look! It's Sarge! I made a mistake! I swear! <laughs> Pink looks good on you, Sarge. Real macho. It... no, it's... it's, it's light as red! Light as red, I tell you! That's okay, Sarge. Pink is super in fashion with men right now. Things that are traditionally seen as sensitive or feminine are accepted everywhere, and it's okay to feel comfortable in whatever color you like. Well, gosh, Simmons, I, uh... I'm, uh... Abhorred by the very thought! Every fiber of my being is lit ablaze by the need to establish my masculinity! Toxically! I'm going outside to fight a bear, eat brick, and re -dye my armor red in the blood of my enemies because... I. Am. A. Man! Battle cry! In order to get the grease and food stains out of your good clothes, you might have to slip into some old shitty clothes while you wash. There's absolutely no shame in looking like you rolled out of a garbage can just so you can look like a million bucks later on. Hello. Huh, holy shit. I thought we got rid of that armor years ago. Did you really have nothing else to wear, Caboose? Oh, no, yeah, the rest of my stuff got lost in the laundry foam. It's kind of hard to see in there. Oh, well, that's totally understandable. Don't ever feel bad for wearing old stuff. Yeah, it's okay. It happens, buddy. You'll find your stuff eventually. Oh, thanks, guys. Now I'm going to go see if the foam has died down a little. Oh, God, he looks so bad. I know, right? I was this close to vomiting. If I ever walk outside dressed like that, please shoot me. When you're done washing your clothes, it'll be time to dry them. Make sure you wash and dry your clothes at proper temperatures. Otherwise, they might change size. Nothing's worse than having your super comfy, super baggy pair of pants ride right up your ass after a wash. Guys, it's really, really hard to breathe right now. I can feel my blood flow slowing down. I'm going to guess you didn't read the wash tag on your armor. It clearly says to wash cold and hang dry, Doc. Uh, how else do I sanitize my clothes? <sighs> Come on, Doc. Let's get you some new clothes. <sighs> I'd very much like that, yes. Doc, did you, uh, rip your pants? <sighs> I'm not sure, but I can feel my feet again. And a nice breeze. After you're done washing and drying your clothes, it's time to fold and organize. Making sure you keep everything nice and neat is a perfect way to easily access your clothes later on. You can even hang stuff up if you don't want to fold. It's the easy way out. But be sure to keep your clean and dirty clothes separate, otherwise you might get them mixed up. Especially if you get dressed in the dark and put on the wrong armor. Right, Simmons? Ugh, oh, I don't remember this being so loose. My arms feel like they're covered in lube or grease and... Ugh, why is this wet? Why is that sticky? It's, what the hell is... Uh, oh, God, what the hell is that smell? Lopez, have you seen where I put that? Griff, where have you been? Wait, no, Sarge, this is a misunderstanding. I'm Simmons. Don't give me that crap, Griff. I'd recognize your fat, lazy orange ass anywhere. Seriously, Sarge, I'm just in the wrong armor. Ha! <laughs> Don't think you're getting out of base, chores. I'm gonna drag your ass out of here and beat the living insubordination out of you! Sarge, no, wait, I... 
when you run out of clean clothes, you might have to wear the same dirty clothes for days. Or, you might find old clothes you haven't worn in a while. Or, you might find some random things laying around, like this blue armor we found. This is usually a telltale sign that you need to do laundry. And with the tips we've given you, you'll be on the way to being fresh and clean and feeling good. I don't know what's worse, that I made all my red armor lightish red, or that I have to wear this dirty, yet extremely clean and fresh, blue armor. Uh, hey guys, I can't really tell what color this armor is. I found something that doesn't suffocate me! Oh my god, it's a bunch of me! The vitamins! They're working! Ah! On the real though, do yourself a favor, and everyone around you, and wash your clothes regularly. Don't forget to use bleach! And a lot of laundry detergent. Thanks for checking out that episode of RVB. You can find the playlist to watch more below, or you can go to roosterteeth.com to check out the latest RT shows. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, or leave a comment.